my case 586e forklift has uh it's had one of the lift cylinders it's, it's two cylinders on the lift one of them's been leaking for a long time just barely but here a while back one of them blew really good and i've had the packings for a while got the manual instructions to replace them seems easy enough i'll just put it off and uh i drew this spanner wrench up i measured up the end of the cylinder and made this spanner wrench and i just got up there and it, it fit really good well a little too tight i could smack it on but i just brought it back and dressed the inside a little bit with a piece of sandpaper and uh, gonna get back up there and try to take them loose this is the forklift i've got the mast raised up got it blocked up and uh I've already taken the upper cylinders loose. The upper cylinders are already taken loose. It's blocked up. I've lowered them down and it's ready for me to get up there and take the ends out of the cylinders and then blow the packings out and replace them. Have the new packings inside. So now I've climbed up top and right here is where the cylinder ends were. The pins used to be right here. I've removed the pins. Lowered the cylinders down. You can see the blown packing down there. And I'm going to take these nuts off here and uh, blow them out. Real happy with how the spanner wrench is fitting the nut. That looks good. Not too sure how well I'll be able to do this with one hand and video with one hand, but I've already broke this loose. So this. This nut's going to go ahead and come off of there like that. And uh, I'm going to stop the video. This is a diagram in the book that shows what I'm removing. I was removing the packing nut a while ago. You can see the wiper bulging out where it blew out. And then I'll have to take the packing sleeve out and the packing. And uh, over here is the instructions for uh, removing the packing and here is the instructions for installing the packing uh, I got one of the packing nuts loose when I was up on top well ago and the other one uh, bolt was missing on the bottom so the ram was spinning so I had to climb down to uh, secure the ram and I decided to take a look at the book while I was down so I'm pretty much on step 10 now. I've got one of the packing nuts loosened and removed. I still have the other one to remove. Then I will start the engine run at a low idle, number 12, with the engine running at low idle. Carefully move the lift control to the up position, push the packing up and out of the center. Stop the engine, remove the packing sleeve, remove the packing. Anyway, seems pretty straightforward. Not sure how well you can see down there, but right below that hose is a is the securing bracket for that cylinder it's missing the bolt on this side that's why i had to climb down so i could stick a pin in that hole so that i could torque the top without twisting the sleeve i think the sun may be about too bright out here but this is the second packing nut got me a little 14 inch cheater bar on my wrench and Seem to try to take that out. Too hard to do it with one hand, so I'm going to turn the camera off again. That loosened up real easy. It wasn't hard. It's already loose, and I'll turn it out here a little. This will be boring here. I was showing that, removing that. Both packing nuts are removed. It's a very calm day out or else I would be really worried about getting dust blown in there but hopefully I'll have them covered back up very quick. I'm really not too sure what to expect here. Got the forklift started. There I go. I'm going to operate the up lever. It is moving the rails up. Ah, I see it coming out that one. All right. There it comes out the second one. I'm 
gonna stop making a big mess. Well, a few things. When I bought this forklift a few years ago, it had the slight leak, and the dealer that sold it to me also sold me these parts that were supposed to be the rebuild kit for the Rams. And I've just now opened this one for the very first time. And uh, so here's the upper wiper that is bad, right? And I have removed it from the nut. And uh, well, this isn't, none of these parts are the wiper. And also I think that I made a mistake in trying to remove both of those at the same time. I should have just done one, one at a time. But anyways, it looks like I'm gonna to have to slip this thing back together for a period of time get the correct parts.